This video is about how to get your edge back. Now, I've done the video a few years ago, but what happens? I got older, I started experiencing even more things, and I'm a person who actually went through having to go through the process of trying to get my edge back. So I'm not just some per relationship person that's just like, oh my God, you do this and you do that, and they never even been through it. When I tell you I've been through it, I have been through it. So just to give you a quick rundown, um, right now, if you're watching this video, I highly recommend you watch this video to the end because I'm, I'm really trying to help you, and I'm telling you exactly what I did to get mine back okay um you're probably like oh my god your situation probably wasn't as bad as mine blah blah look i'm gonna i'm here to tell you now there's a thin line between love and and hate no matter if your ex hates you or they still love you it's the exact same thing because they're still feeling an emotion for you now if they're at the point where they don't feel anything for you then it's going to be even harder to uh get your ex back just to give you a quick rundown because this is really not about me it's about helping you i'm amber with the love don't have time to watch this whole video go ahead and bookmark it do something to save it or you can go to the love to uh, continue watching it so it was years ago not only did i have to get my ex back but I had to get my ex back from somebody else I know it's like it's a double whammy not only are you trying to like prove your love to them but you have to go through the process of pretty much competing with another person that they're actually interested in it was the worst but did I get them back yes i did yes i did okay but um it was it was awful um i went through the situation the process of you know the whole lot of anxiety and depression and not eating barely sleeping and pretty much going through the whole thing of getting rejected and being treated like i did something wrong when i didn't and trust me i know about all the emotions you're feeling right now and right now you have to take a step back and you have to breathe because right now you're acting on impulse you're panicking right now because you want to hurry up and get them back before somebody else slides in your spot and gets to do all the things that you're used to doing with that person and you don't want your person that you're missing to move on with another individual so right now your mind is in a panic is is going crazy right now but i'm here to tell you trust me things are going to be okay now the title of this video how to get your ex back i don't care if you're trying to get a dude back i don't care if you're trying to get a girl back i don't care if you're straight lesbian whatever the human mind works the exact same way so continue to watch this video like i say if you don't have time to watch this video go ahead and share it I mean, bookmark it, uh, give it a thumbs up, put it somewhere where you can watch it later. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you. Uh, watch it to the end, I'm, I'm about to drop some jewels on you. Now, like I said, I, I did a video about how to get your ex back a few years ago. Um, I'm going on 27, so I had to be like 23, 24-ish. Um, and I have already been through this whole situation, so now I'm even older. And I, I get to sit back and I get to analyze what exactly happened in that situation. Now, first thing, to getting your ex back. I know you are going to cringe when you hear this. You're gonna cringe. The first step to getting your ex back is letting go. You're gonna be like, what, 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 why would I let go and then somebody else can come in and blah, blah. I know how your mind works because I was in that same position. I was like, can't let go. I have to keep, keep trying, keep trying. Trust me, letting go is gonna be easier for you and easier on them. See, this is what happens. The mind, right now you're feeling rejected, right? You have to take all that energy that you're feeling and get it to pass it on to them you're like well why would i want them to feel rejected in there then they're gonna think i don't want them blah blah when someone feels rejected they are going to go into chase mode right now you were in chase mode so you and your ex broke up they broke up with you or you did something horrible blah 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 i'm gonna give you a, a couple of scenarios just so you get where i'm going with this okay say your ex left you oh it's not working anymore i don't want to be in this relationship blah blah what do you do the first thing you do you go into panic mode you're like i did this for you we're supposed to be together and i'm this i'm loyal i, I love you i would do anything for you how could you do this to me yes that's our first mind that's the mindset we go into you're like oh my god i've done everything for this person and they're leaving and i love them so much first thing even if you even if you have even got to the point where they are broken up with you but they're about to this is what you do the first thing you do agree even if you don't i'm like you know this isn't working out out, blah 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 you say okay you're right this isn't working out um i do agree i believe that we do need our space um i wish you the best blah 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 and it's gonna throw them off they're gonna be like what like this is weird what do you mean um what do you mean this is 
it's a mutual thing. Like, you're not supposed to agree with me. You're supposed to be heartbroken. Basically, act like you don't care. Not not in a sense that, oh, I'm going to be disrespectful. No, you never be disrespectful because it's not necessary. However, agreeing with a person shows your maturity. Like, you have to give them space and you have to give them boundaries. Now, you have to give them a chance to think about if they really want to uh, leave you alone. So, by you not showing any emotion that they're expecting, it, one, is going to throw them off. Two, it's going to put them in a mind state of them having to chase you. They're going to be checking up on you, even if they said they were done with you. Trust me. So, first step, letting go. Release, give them their space. That means no communication, no text messages, no uh, emails, calling, FaceTime, no making up excuses to go and see them. You want them to be checking up on you, thinking about you, you know what I'm saying? And if you're always in their face or uh, bothering them or something, they they know what you're up to because you're in their face and you're bothering and you're calling and you're buying presents and stuff. Stop it. Take a breather, get to know yourself again. And one, during this process of letting go and getting yourself together i really want you to sit back and analyze what went wrong in this relationship why isn't it working now it's easy to get attached to somebody and don't want to leave that person because they're your comfort zone however if the relationship has become toxic you really have to ask yourself is this relationship for me anyway it's not always about just getting back with that person the first thing that's important is your happiness. Now, if you somehow just messed up, you still have to give them their space. You have to let go. I've seen this with my own eyes. Um, I knew somebody that messed up, but without them even knowing, they were like, you know what? I don't deserve you, blah, blah. I'm gonna give you your space. You deserve to be happy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go get myself together. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. You know, you're a good person, blah, blah. And the other person was like, wait a minute. You acted like you don't even want me, da, da, da. And what happened? They got that person back. They didn't realize they were doing that, but that's what happened when I sat back and analyzed what happened. Okay, so like I said, first step, letting go. Step two of getting yourself together is getting yourself together. The next time your ex sees you, you want to be, you want to come off as a brand new person, brand new energy, brand new aura, brand new vibe about you, a new haircut, new something, new wardrobe. It has to be like they're meeting somebody new for the first time. You can't come and when you finally meet up with this person, be the exact same thing that they left in the first place. It's not going to work. And if I did not mention it before, if you have already went through the process of panicking and blowing up their phone and blah, blah, I need you to give it two weeks, 14 whole days. I said 14, 14 whole days of no communication at all. Nothing. Matter of fact, you can write them a letter, send them an email, text them, blah, blah, blah and say, you know what? You were right, I've been doing some thinking. I've been acting like kind of crazy out of my comfort zone. I mean, out of my element, that's not even me. I wish you nothing but the best, blah, blah, nothing else. So when they get that, and if they respond to you, don't say anything, don't respond after that. Because now you want to go into the mode of getting them to think about you all the time. Getting them to check up on you, getting them to look at your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. First step, letting go. Second step, getting yourself together. Becoming a, a brand new person. Work on you, work on your mental. Go out with your friends, go have fun. Keep yourself busy. Keeping yourself busy is gonna be the thing that's gonna help you the most in this whole situation. Because if you're at home and you laying by yourself watching TV, guess what you're doing? You're thinking. What happens when you think? You get in your feelings. Trust me, I know. You're at home, you're by yourself, it's quiet, you're staring at your ceiling, and all these thoughts are going through your uh, head and you end up crying for no reason, and it's a mess. Keep yourself busy up until you are so tired, you wanna go to sleep, <laughs> okay? Third thing, third thing. I need to get my numbers together. Third thing that you need to do to get your eggs back. Once you finally, once you guys run into each other, once you guys finally get together where you see each other, blah, 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 keep it short. You have to basically drop little trails. You're pretty much willing them back in, but what you're doing by willing them back in is 
is by rejection. Not saying, like I said in the beginning, you don't have to be mean to this person. You don't have to be disrespectful, nasty, anything. I don't care what they're out there saying about you, to you, nothing. You do not stoop to their level during this breakup. If they um, want to talk, make sure enough time has went by to where they're in a vulnerable state like they really want to talk to you because if it's only been a few days like be like no i really think we should um have some more time apart because if we are going to have a conversation i want it to be healthy without any kind of emotions or any yelling or anything like that i want to be a grown-up about this situation the next thing to get my ex back is regain my happiness without them when they finally do see you i want your happiness to be genuine i want them to be like dang like they're really in a good space without me like i want it to be like that now those are a few tips that i use to get my ex back let go no communication no nothing agree with the breakup agree with it even if you don't agree with the breakup um three get yourself together all the way your thoughts the most important thing in the situation is your mental you cannot let this situation run you ragged because guess what you're the only one not sleeping at night go ahead and get your sleep four become a new person get back to your old self if your old self was a good person know how to live without this person be happy without this person and if it's meant to be then it'll be that's that's pretty much the gist of it i can go on for hours and hours and hours however if you need the full step-by-step -step guide to getting your ex back i don't care like i said if you're trying to get a woman man if you're heterosexual homosexual bisexual i don't care what you are it's the same thing the guide i used was so crazy years ago i um I was on the internet searching how to get your ass back, give, uh, different tips and stuff like that. I ran across this article and it was this guy, you know, giving advice about how to get your ass back. And I was like, okay. And he had a guide, a step-by-step -step guide. I remember downloading this guide and I went through it and I was like, at first I was like, man, how is this stuff going to work? How is this stuff going to work? I'm, what? This is not, this doesn't make any sense to me. But I was like, well, whatever, I'm gonna try it anyway. I remember after the first step, my ex texting me. And this is after like all said and done, he's with somebody else, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I remember I was laying on my bed and I got the text and I was like, I was like, whoa, this stuff really does work. So if you want the guide, go ahead and head over to thelovegal.com. You can download it. It's gonna be a button that takes you to the guide and stuff like that. So go ahead download it i'm telling you this stuff is like crack it it works i don't know the dude that wrote it is a freaking genius and when i came across the guide again i was like i have to tell people about this because i'm starting my relationship channel anyway go ahead and hit the subscribe button wherever it is and i'm going to be having more videos more advice videos and stuff like that so go ahead and matter of fact share the love .com. go ahead do what you want to do um thumbs up if you like this video if you don't like it anyway no i'm kidding but anyway i am out